Hey guys, it's it's me again. Uh, you're probably wondering about the title, like what does it mean? Like what what is this? What, I have I don't understand. Well, this is essentially just a video announcing something that I just put on to somewhere that isn't YouTube, and essentially I'm just letting y'all know about it and linking you to it because otherwise, you know, not that many people will see it. You know, it's 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 a it's a bit of a interesting project that you know I you know I thought of do I've been thinking of doing for a while, and it's not really fit for my channel because mainly because you know it wouldn't really stay on it that long because it's essentially uh, I'm I'm sure you guys are familiar with uh, space pirate Captain Harlock, which is a a, fa a classic uh, 70s sci-fi adventure series based off, you know, the comics by Leiji Matsumoto, uh, who famous for a lot of uh, Japanese uh, media series like, you know, Space Battleship Yamato, aka Star Blazers. Uh, uh, essentially, in the early 80s, uh, there was a company called Ziv International that did a lot of uh, a lot of early home video English dubs of imported of of foreign animated uh media main, uh, mainly you know japanese animated media they did a lot of dubs they did stuff like uh captain future candy candy uh and a few others captain harlock of course was one of theirs uh one of their dubs that they produced uh they uh, dubbed four episodes of the TV series into English in the early '80s, um, and they were all and they were all released. Those four episodes that they dubbed were released on home video by Family Home Entertainment. Um, and uh, there was another company who, if about a decade after, known as Malibu Graphics, I believe, uh, would also release Ziv's dubs of Harlock on VHS as well. Uh, later on down the ride, though there was some issues with the syncing and the audio. Um, essentially, two of the episodes that they dubbed, they dubbed them in a mean in a, in a manner that stuck to the original Japanese version, like with the script, and also you know used the original Japanese music. However, um, for uh, all four of these episodes, they actually had Mark Mercury and his band Bullets make. Uh, a new theme song for their English dubs, uh, Take to the Sky, um, which is a fantastic theme song, by the way. I'm, I'm, I imagine some would disagree, but I personally love the song Take to the Sky, and they made the song for their dubs, and all four of them have it as the theme song rather than the original Japanese Captain Harlock theme song, which is, you know, just called Captain Harlock. Uh, but, but, you know, despite the new theme song, two of the episodes, episodes one and nine, uh, Use the original music from uh, uh, Seiji Yokoyama, um, and also stuck to the original script, so it's pretty much in line with like an export dub of something. Um, though uh, I believe Toei themselves did not commission this. Um, some would believe that it was, and there's definitely you know it definitely certainly has that feel. But apparently Toei did their own uh, Harlock dub. Uh, I remember hearing about that. I don't, uh, I'm not entirely sure, but, you know, Ziv did that dub, and it was pretty cool. Um, but the other two episodes that they dubbed, episodes two and three, they, for what, they uh, did it in a different style. It was a style, it was more, like, you know, the story, you know, was pretty much, you know, the story mostly remained intact, but rather than, you know, sticking to the original serious, um, uh, operatic tone of the original show, they decided to go for, a, like, a farcical comedy, um, with those two episodes, putting in a lot of bad jokes and stuff, plus the cast was completely different, not to mention, they had, uh, Mark Mercury and Bullets produce brand new background music to replace, uh, Seiji Yokoyama's music, um, so it was something a lot different than the, 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 than the, uh, other two episodes they dubbed, um, and, uh, I'm just gonna tell you right now, that dub is absolutely terrible, but, you know, there are a few other people who have talked about those dubs before. Uh, basically, uh, what I'm getting to is, is that Ziv, 
um, not when with these uh, anime uh, dubs that they produced. They uh, they also uh, with with some of these they actually also produced uh, original soundtrack albums, or at least that's what they called them. They were essentially um, basically they took two episodes of whatever they dubbed. And they essentially edited the character dialogue and the music to be like, uh, you know, be more like an audio drama rather than just, you know, audio of the show. You know, like they did that, you know, with their Candy Candy dub, their Captain Future dub. And of course, Harlock got this treatment as well. The, the episode one, the dubs of episodes one and nine got the original soundtrack album treatment by Ziv International in the early 80s. Um Thing is, though, when when they did these audio drama versions of the episodes, they actually, um, rather than you know use the original like the Japanese music, uh, like what was done when they dubbed those episodes, they actually um, decided to instead use Mark Mercury's soundtrack with those dubbed episodes. So it's a sort of a strange crossbreed where you have you know the accurate you know Japanese script and you know superior voice acting. Um, but you also have the brand new soundtrack by Mark Mercury, which is actually really well done, though unfortunately, you know, the, the, the farcical dub didn't really do it any favors because it was pretty poorly spliced into scenes, in my opinion, whereas here with this, it's much better placed, and, you know, it makes it sound a lot better than it sounds with the actual dub that it was used for. Uh, but yeah, essentially, that's what happened with that, and, um... You know, I, I'm I'm very I'm, I love the Captain Harlock show. I'm very fond of it. I haven't seen the whole thing, but I've seen a lot of it, and it truly is like a wonderful, entertaining piece of art that you know has stood the test of time for the most part. So you know, and I've I'm I've you know I've enjoyed seeing the dub that Ziv did as well as listening to their original soundtrack album. Um, so for a while, I've been thinking of an idea. Actually, it all started when a friend of mine, uh, Fumecom, you might have heard hear, heard me bring him up a few times in the past. Uh, he did a he did a, a vinyl rip of he managed to acquire the soundtrack album and do a rip of it of the vinyl. He put it on his second YouTube channel, the Fumecom Archives. He also did it for the for Ziv International's Candy Candy original soundtrack album uh, as well. Uh, when he did that, I remember uh, on Twitter when he was, you know, talking uh, talking about it. Or I think it was shortly before he put it on YouTube. Uh, when he was doing it, he shared some clips of you know, of the uh, of the vinyl, but he synced the uh, the the vinyl audio of the dialogue with footage from the show. Um, I think it was like two scenes he showed, like, and one of them he actually did a comparison between. Uh, the version from the VHS with the original Japanese music and the one from the vinyl with Mark Mercury's music. Um, that's what happened with that. Uh, I apologize. This is kind of off the whim. I'm just recording this with my phone right now. Uh, essentially, he did that, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if he still has them up. He, if he has those those clips still up on his Twitter... But, you know, um, it was a pretty cool idea to me at the time, and recently, uh, he also uploaded, uh, VHS captures of the, uh, FHE Ziv International Captain Harlock tapes, and seeing that, um, it, uh, I decided at that moment, you know what, I, you know what, I want to try, you know, see if I could sync up the audio, do the whole thing myself, like, what he did, but just do the entirety of the vinyl, or at least as much, like, the entirety of the vinyl, see how much of it I can match up with the footage from the show. Um, you know, I at first was, you know, not so sure about it, because, um, because, you know, it's like, essential, like, you know, you know, the stuff I make, I usually make for YouTube, but for something like this, like, I definitely want to share it to people, because, you know, this isn't, you know, I mean, it's mainly really... You know, I, I thought it'd be cool, you know, think, I was thinking, like, it's something I could make possible, and I wouldn't want anyone to not see it, because, you know, I'm the kind of guy that's like, I'm, you know, I don't like depriving people of something cool that I have, or that I make, or something, so I want to make it available to people, like, you know, with all my content that I make, but with this, it's like, it's, if I were to put it on my YouTube channel, Toei would just come in and just block it worldwide, 
or possibly do something even worse. I don't know, because essentially I'd just be uploading like a full two episodes of the show. I mean, obviously, you know, like, you know, it's kind of I edited it to match up so it's cut differently, but it's still footage and it's, you know, VHS quality, but it's still footage from the show. I, I could still like get, you know, like block. I could still get the video blocked and no one would be able to watch it and it just make the whole thing futile. So, you know, I instead decided I just put it on Internet Archive um, and to supplement with that, um, I make this video announcing it and explaining what it's all about, essentially. I also explain it on my upload on Internet Archive. Uh, might as well explain it here as well, you know, for those who aren't on Internet Archive. Um, but yeah, uh, and hopefully, you know, it doesn't get taken down on there, too. I spent, you know... It took me surprisingly a lot less time than I thought it would. It was quite a. It was pretty tough to do. It wasn't easy. It was a lot tougher going into it than I thought it would be. And there, you know, it's not a perfect edit. At least I don't think it is. Some may disagree, but you know, I'm you know making it. I knew that it, it could possibly be done better. Essentially, it's like, you know, I made it for that. And, you know, like with, you know, the uh, Drunken Master trailer edits that I did, like, last year, you know, it's, like, not the best that could be done, at least. Though with this, it's, you know, it's not as, you know, I can't, it's not as much with this as it was with that. Like, that one, like, definitely could be done better. I just need, you know, better footage of the movie. But, you know, besides the point, you know, it's it's the same sort of thing where, you know, I did what I could, and I highly encourage anyone who feels that they could do a better job or thinks they have a better idea of how it should be done you know, to do it themselves, and I, I'd certainly love to see it, because, you know, I, I love Captain Harlock, and I definitely enjoy the Ziv dub, um, I mean, it's not, like, the best dub in the world, but it's, it's certainly, you know, it's, you know, it's certainly still entertaining, and I'm talking, like, the, the, uh, the accurate dub, not the farcical one, the farcical one is just crap, this, you know, I, I, you know, I, I'm, this is, yeah, if, if, if you want, if you, if you like what I did here, or if you, you know, if you like the idea, but you want to try it yourself and think you could do a better job, you know, go right ahead. I'd certainly love to see it. But yeah, essentially, yeah, that's what this is all about. And uh, I'm just letting you know now I'm going to link the upload in the description for all you guys. So you can go and check it out on Internet Archive. And of course, it's Internet Archive. You can download it as well. But yeah, it's, it's up there. And, you know, I, I hope you, you know, I hope you enjoy it. It's, a, it's just a fun little project I decided to try doing. And, but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging on YouTube. So I thought I'd make this to supplement that. And to make up for time that could have been spent on YouTube video making. Um, and, well, essentially, yeah. Uh, video, more videos, of course, will be coming soon. This is just another little thing I wanted to do because, you know, I really, I really wanted to and I, there wasn't really anything else that I was as eager to do. So, uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy the edit if you decide to watch it. If you don't, that's fine. At least, you know, you know, you got to hear me explain it so you at least knew what I was talking about and whatever new video I make next, I hope. You'll be there to see it, and I hope you enjoy it. That's all for me. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. I'm Andrew Ambrose, and I'll catch you later. Take it easy, guys.